Hi, good evening, everybody, and welcome to today's orientation and discussion on SBL for reset students for June 2022 attempt. This is Hassan Dosani. I hope you guys are keeping well. Right, so the, I want this to be an interactive session. I want you to ask as many questions you have in mind. But the way to ask question would be that you will have to type your question in the chat box. And please don't type now. Please wait till I announce the Q&A session. Okay. So let's start. So that's a brief introduction of myself. So I'm pretty sure most of you know me. So I am FCA by profession. I work as a CFO in uh, insurance sector based in Dubai. And I have been teaching SBL for and sub likewise subject for last 20 years. This is my personal WhatsApp number. Hang on, I'll just... Yeah, this is my WhatsApp number. Please save it if you want to get in touch with me. And this is my coordinator's number, okay? Right. Regarding the pass rate, let me increase the size a bit. March was 50% pass rate. It was 51 in September, this 51 in December, and March was 50%. So I would say SBL's pass rate has been consistent uh, in the last three attempts. Um, and if you also note that SBL has the highest passing ratio in uh, the strategic professional papers, which is kind of a good news for us, okay? We all know SBL is very different since most of you are doing a resit, so you are very much familiar with SBL, but there may be few students who are giving SBL for the first time. So I just very quickly go through the SBL differentiating things. It is one integrated case study. There are like six to eight exhibits. There's a long list of requirements. Okay. Then it is the longest paper in ACCA. It is four hours. It requires extra stamina, physical stamina, mental stamina. There are 20 professional marks out of 100. Very, very important. 20% of your paper is professional skills. Less emphasis on models, which is good news. Various formats required like reports, briefing notes, memos, presentations, press release, emails, letters, etc. Not a big deal because, you know, pretty uh, standard formats. So if you understand them, it can be easy to manage them. And this one is that 25% of your paper is common sense. Common sense means that that question does not pertain to any particular topic or syllabus. It is just examiner wants to see whether you have common sense or not whether you have um, logic you can think logically and answer logically or not so again this is good news that even for students who have not studied the entire thing um, if they talk logically they will definitely get marks Now, this is something which is really appreciated by many students. And I, I always suggest that when you give SBL paper, you should always think that you are a CFO. Your mindset should not be like a student. You should think that you are a CFO. You should think that you are a senior person. You should think that you are a mature person who understands the business and you are talking to the board of directors who are mostly 
non-financial people. Do not think that you are writing a report or drafting an answer for the examiner. Just imagine that you are drafting a report for the board of directors. All of them are non-financial people, so you have to explain to them in simple words, slowly, logically, etc. Those of you who have not tried this approach, please try this approach that you will automatically feel the moment you start thinking like a CFO, you automatically feel that your level of confidence will go up and you will start thinking like a senior person rather than a junior accountant. Okay. Uh, we all know the paper is a CBE platform. You are familiar with the CBE platform. So I would just skip, skip this slide. This one is very important. So unfortunately, most of you were not able to clear SBL. So I think it is important that you self analyze what went wrong. So these seven points are the most common reasons why students fail SBL. And this, these seven points are not from me. They are from the examiner who checks thousands and thousands of scripts. So please, oh, very Ananya, very good. So let, let me go through the list and then you, we all can share what went wrong, right? So the first item is, and this is generally in order of sequence, answers not linked with exhibits, often theoretical general answers are given. Very, very important. Now, most of the students who fail, they always tell me that there was no information available in the scenario, or there was very limited information available in the scenario. Uh, I can understand that there might be limited information, but I cannot understand that there is no information. So it's very, very important that you guys are able to identify that information and pick up that sentence in your answer, okay? Second most common reason is students, they merely copy paste materials from the exhibit. There is no harm in copy pasting, but, but without adding own comments or explaining why the point is important or that. So because of CBE students, they just dump the entire exhibits into the answer. They just copy and paste. If you just copy, paste, and move on, you will not get any marks. All right? You have to explain to the examiner what's the logic, what's the impact, why you have considered that point. So you have to add a couple of lines on your own, right? And then not completing the paper on time, which is basically bad time management. You might have missed out one question. You might have missed out two questions. Or yesterday, someone was telling me that uh, oh, two questions were left and only 30 minutes were available. And if that person did put the question in 30 minutes, how can you do two full-fledged questions of SBL in 30 minutes? Now, if you are the examiner, can you imagine the quality of the answer? So if you do bad quality answers towards the end, I would say it's incomplete, right? Because that question or that answer may net, may not fetch you any marks. So not completing the paper, poor technical and professional skills. As per examiner, uh, you will be surprised. So many students, they don't know what PESTEL is. They apply PESTEL model for internal factors. <laughs> many students, they don't know what a SWOT analysis is, strength, weakness, or they don't know the difference between strength and opportunities. Now, this is, this is not how a CFO behaves, right? 
So obviously, if you have poor technical knowledge, if you do, cannot demonstrate to the examiner that you, you, can, you cannot understand the business, you can never pass. Also, professional skills, most students, they are unable to demonstrate the relevant professional skills required in a particular question. But you know what? This is in your hand. This you can easily fix. This just shows that you did not give enough time for preparation or you did not give enough time for study purposes. Right? If you don't have technical and professional knowledge, why bother? You see? So this is something which I'm really pissed off. And then insufficient number of points according to the marks. Obviously, a small question, like a eight mark questions, you have to write less number of points versus a 18 marks question, there you have to write more number of points to justify the 18 marks, right? So you have to plan your uh, number of points according to the marks. So this is what the examiner is saying that students, they do not give sufficient number of points according to the marks. They give less points. And if, of course, if they give less points, they will score less marks and ultimately will not be able to cross. All right. And then students do not practice or do mocks on CVE platform. Very, very important. It, in two minutes, the examiner can see whether you have practiced on CVE or not. It's very easy, okay? So very, very important that whatever practice you do on SBL, do it on the CVE platform provided by ACC. Lastly, weak typing and formatting skills. So obviously most students, they feel that, you know, they are very bad in typing. They type like this, they use their finger. The typing is extremely slow and they do a lot of spelling errors. They don't know how to bold. They don't know how to underline headings. They don't know how to give paragraphs. They don't know how to increase the font size. How can you become a CFO if you don't know how to operate a Word document? Again, this, so these two like really pisses me off. This one really pisses me off. It is in your hand and poor technical skills. It pisses me off because it is entirely in your hand. These two things are preparation stage. The more time you will give in the preparation stage, you can eliminate this thing. So now I want you to, all of you, please mention in what you think you made error. Please type the point number. So Ananya says three, which means not completing the paper on time. Navid says four. Navid, uh, you are very honest and bold were admitting that you had poor technical and professional skills. Other people, please type five and three. Ali says five and three. Insufficient number of points and three. So probably your speed is issue. Javed is five. Insufficient points. Ananya says over time or spent on question two. Yes, absolutely. Daniel says one and five. Daniel, one is do or die. One is very bad. Five is insufficient. Three, five, three and five. I see. I think so. The most common input I am getting is five. I think. Um, Five is the uh, number one rating, but is one. And then this one. Followed by others, yes. The, I think in this group, that's the two things. So nobody mentioned seven. Nobody mentioned, oh, see, I made a typing error, see? <laughs> 
<laughs> Weak tying and for typing and for that. So nobody struggled in seven. That's good. That's good. Nobody struggled with six. So are you sure you guys did several or sufficient practice and mocks on CB platform? I really doubt. Okay, interesting. So very, very important that we are able to identify our mistakes. Yes, Jacob. All right. Now, let us assess. How many of you got less than 45 marks? Please type your marks. How many of you got less than 45? Please mention your marks here. Less than 40. J Javed is 43. Okay, Javed. 41. Ali, Jacob is 28. Jacob, you are on the very lower side. Deepa is 44. Okay. Come on, guys. Be honest. 36. 38. Right. Those of you who scored less than 45 shows that you have weak technical knowledge. Okay. Anyone scoring less than 45 shows that you do not have complete technical knowledge. You had some cons, either you had some conceptual issues or you gave some general answers here and there. You're trying to use models unnecessarily. But the main thing is you are slightly weak from a technical or a conceptual point of view. So people who are 44 and 43 and 41, some technical knowledge is missing. People who are scoring in 30s, significant technical null gap is there. People scoring in 20s, more technical gap is there, right? But the main reason is lack of technical knowledge. Now, how many of you obtain between 45 and 49? Please type your marks. Ali, I'm, I will answer this towards the end. Please ask. Oh my God. Prince, 47. Daniel, 48. Who is this 49? Sapna. My God, Melissa. Now, those of you who got in between 45 and 49, it shows me generally, I'm just talking about rule of thumb, okay? It may not apply to across the board, but generally, most of the time, uh, people who score 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, their concepts are okay. But they lack time-based practice. What did I say? Their concepts are okay. They can survive. But they lack time-based practice. You see, they lack mocks. They did not do sufficient level of time-based practice or mock exams. And because you did not do sufficient level of practice or mocks, your exam techniques like linking with the exhibit, number of points, professional skills, formats, drafting, you know, all those things were not up to the mark. Yes, Ashanti. Yeah, I mean, sometimes that, as I said, you know, uh, most of the time, there must be something which went wrong, right? Yeah, so I know most of my students, they did practice sufficient. Uh, I need to, did you look at your mocks, which I had marked? So, right. So this is just a eye opener for us to identify what we need to focus for June, 
right? What has happened has happened. I'm just trying to diagnose what possibly have gone wrong so that we do not repeat the same mistake, okay? And then yeah, that is uh, not, uh, let's not talk separately on this. Ananya, how much uh, you scored in mocks, the, the mocks which I marked, please mention. So Ananya, you see in the mocks you got 45 and in your actual exams you also got 45. Unless your target in mock should be at least 55% marks. Okay, so if you get 55, 56 in mocks, then I would say you are safe. You might clear, get 50 in the exams. But if you score 45 in mocks, it could be challenging. Yes, Ashanti. You mock past mock with 53, right? As I said, 55, 56 would be safe. It happens. Okay, I'll take all these questions in the QA session. Okay, let me just quickly complete. So, what is the reset batch? So, in reset batch, once you enroll in the WIFI's reset batch for SBL, you will be given access to the video lectures, okay? Access to the recorded lectures for all the topics. And it will be a professional portal with user ID and password. And it looks something like this. So for example, chapter one, there will be, you will see Porter five forces. There are four lectures on Porter five forces. Then there are two lectures on SFA and then a practice. So. The benefit, so since you are a reset student, I don't expect you to go through all the lectures. I repeat, since you are a reset student, I don't expect you to go through all the lectures because we don't have time. But at least if you have access to all the lectures, wherever, whatever topic you feel that you are weak or any important topic, top 25, you can, you know, just go through those lectures. That's number one, that you will have access to all the lectures. Then we will have weekly live classes. Now, this is extremely important. Huh? We will have two live classes per week. So in the previous batch, we used to have one live class per week. Now, this time I have increased the number of live classes per week. Okay, because I feel that students are really benefiting through practices in the live class. Um, they can ask questions. So I have made it two live class per week. So up till mid of May, we will be having two live classes per week. It happens on every Saturday and Sunday. So I've kept it on the weekend. And from 11, 8 to 11 p.m. Pakistan time, Currently, due to the month of Ramadan for the month, so this month, the timing is a little bit off. Uh, it's like 2.30 in the afternoon, but as soon as uh, the holy month of Ramadan is over, so we will revert back to this timing. If recording is available next day for absentees or repeat viewing, so people who are not able to join because of work commitment, because of timing, time zone issues, um, the recording is available. You can watch it the next day. And in this practice classes, we will be doing SBL questions. Okay, in like I can pick up one. I only I usually pick up one topic. Let's say project initiation document. So we will do a full fledged question from your SBL paper on project initiation document. You will draft. We will discuss. Um, then we, if we will also do some case studies from P1, P3, and when we submit the answers, it will be checked by you. So this is the main thing. So those of you 
who are research students, who lack practice, who struggle in drafting, please, you must join this. Already like four or five classes have happened. So the recording is available. Uh, so this will really benefit you, okay? After we've done that, after that we will start SBL full case study practice from mid of May. So after my webinar for June is done, Avinesh, uh, wait Avinesh, just wait for the Q&A, right? After we've done these live classes practice, we will then study full case study. We will do, so it will again be a live class, 100%. We will do almost all case studies of your SBL exams, all, almost all, except for one question. Approximately, we will spend 10 hours on each case study. So we break it up like we do in two days. Right, so if you remember the previous schedule for crash uh, revision, that we for first day we spend like four to five hours, and then the second day again we continue with the same case study and we spend four to five hours. Why we take so much time? Because A, we discuss, B, I give you time to draft on your own, and I wait. When you finish drafting, then you move to the next question. Very intensive question, uh, sessions. We will do four to five case studies. Focus on drafting and role plays. And recording will be available if you miss it, right? After that, we will do mock exams towards the end of May, like last week of May or 20, 25th of May. We will at least do two to three mocks under exam conditions. I will facilitate that. I will organize that. And I will check the first mock script and will give you marks and feedbacks. If you want more scripts to be checked later on, there's a small fee, I think $25 or something per script. But the first script is all free, like it's included in the package, right? So. You see, it's very, very important um, that we will have live classes. After that, we will do full SBL case studies, and then we will do at least two to three mocks with one feedback. This is something which will really add value to those who are struggling with drafting. On the last two days, normally I organize a grand revision for my entire batch on the paid batch it's like four to five hour sessions we discuss all the important questions all the important topics so this is also covered and there's a dedicated whatsapp group for communication what's the investment of the recent batch so you see the original fees is 220 dollars however you guys are joining late right so I, we are giving a $75 discount, which is 35% discount. So now the discounted price for you guys is $145 US dollars. And it includes everything, it includes everything. All the recordings, all the live classes, all the mocks, and one split check. All in $145, simply because you are joining late right and you i just you guys probably want to focus more on drafting and practice so this is so avilish even if you are not my research student or ex student everybody can join the research batch and enjoy or avail all the above factors for 145 dollars one extra caveat there's an extra discount for my march 2021 page students okay those of you who are unfortunate who had paid fees in march and were not able to clear i uh, i am heartbroken as much as you are so uh, what i can contribute in your pain is i have given some extra discount to my batch of march 2021 uh, for you the price is slightly lower than uh, you know others so please contact my, you know, this guy coordinator 
tell him that you are my March batch student and he will give you some extra discount. Okay, he will verify you from the list of March students and he'll give you extra discount. So this is till here, it's all about the paid recent batch, which is about to start, all right? Now this portion, and it's the last portion, I think, yeah. After that, I will take questions. This portion is for self-study students. So those students who don't want to enroll in any paid session, that's perfectly fine. My availability, my help is also for students uh, who want to do self-study, okay? So I have made a six weeks planner up to the exam day. So from now till your exam, approximately six to seven weeks are uh, you have. So week one, I have taken, I, I have assumed it will start from 25th April to 1st May. So from Monday to Sunday. Week two is uh, from 2nd of May to 8th of May. Again, Monday to Sunday and so forth. Okay. So in week one, which is about, which, which is the forthcoming week, you need to revise the top 25 topics. Okay, and I have my ultra summarized notes. I have my ultra summarized notes. So one is the summarized notes and one is ultra summarized notes. Summarized note is consist of all the topics, but ultra summarized note, it just focuses on top 25 topics. So since you don't have a lot of time, I don't want you to spend time on the reading theoretical syllabus areas. So just revise the top 25 topics in this week. The second week, watch my September 2021 webinar. And during these two weeks, try to do these questions as practice. Week three, you watch another webinar and do these two questions. These are SBL questions. You can solve them, but first you will need to watch the webinar. Again, in the fourth week, you watch my March webinar and then do these three SBL questions on your own. Obviously, learning from the webinars and then applying here, okay? And then fifth week, watch my June webinar which will, which has not yet happened, it will happen. And then prop give box. Mamadali, just wait, huh? Just wait uh, till the Q&A starts. And for week six. So those of you students who are planning to study on their own, this is a very, very uh, effective, efficient uh, study plan which I have made based on my experience. If you stick to this plan, you will definitely pass because it's got a combination of uh, notes, it's got a combination of the webinars, there are four webinars, and there is lots of practice, right? But if you self-study students, you will have to do all this on your own, right? Obviously, because, uh, you know, I won't be able to check your papers or guide you, but I can tell you what to do, right? The main thing is stay away from books and revision kits. You don't have time. Just focus on my webinars, my simplified notes, my ultra simplified notes, and practice SBL case studies. All this material is freely available on my global SBL group. It's available on my global SBL group. So if you are not a member of my global SBL group, can you please send a message on this number? Tell them to add you to the global group or you can also send a message to me requesting me to be added to the global group and I will add.
Okay. Uh, let me just this uh, okay. okay, looks good. All right, so guys, now I'm ready to take all sort of questions. Just a second, let me enlarge my screen so that I can do it. Okay, guys, please, if I have not answered your question, please uh, Avinish and Ali, uh, you are writing direct messages to me, which means that everybody, others are not able to read your questions. So please um, write us. Uh, to select everyone. So, Muhammad Ali is asking, I'm now reading the question, is it possible to pass if we start studying today because my last attempt was a year ago on self-study process? Absolutely, yes, Muhammad Ali. It is very much possible to pass provided that you strictly follow this timetable, you strictly do watch all these things, you strictly uh, do all these practice questions. If you do all this, definitely you will have passed. How do I how do I know? Because many students have passed just by watching the webinar and watching following this. Webinar. So you know I do get feedbacks. So many students do pass, but it all depends on how sharp you are, how self-disciplined you are. If you are able to give two hours a day religiously, 100% you will pass. Okay, Ali? Avlesh is asking, if a student does self-study as per your plan, is there a way that they can have the marks marked by you? What are the charges? Avlesh, yes. Uh, if there's a self-study student and they just want to get their mocks check. I do check mocks separately as well, but I really don't encourage it. Why? Because um, I've, I've seen weird mocks. People, they don't watch my webinar, they don't apply the exam techniques, and then they want me to check their mocks, and then they get very bad marks. But if you so I so my charges for checking mock is uh, it's fifty dollars for two mocks. Okay, minimum is fifty dollars for two scripts. But you can join my crash course uh, for ninety dollars, or you can join my recent batch for one forty five dollars. So that's not much of a difference. Up to you, Alvis, Ablish, you decide. Ananya, sir, can you please show the schedule for the recent batch? Schedule, uh, Ananya, uh, what do you mean by schedule? So as I said, for recent batch, the live class will happen every Saturday and Sunday. Okay. And the crash, like the SBL practice sessions will start mid of June. It all depends. The schedule of that is not ready because, you know, it all depends when my June webinar dates are communicated to me. So I'm waiting for ACCA to let me know when they want the June 2022 webinar. According to that, I will plan for that. Okay, Ananya, is that clear? Melissa, if we are watching via the recording, can we still submit our draft answers for marking? Absolutely, yes, but soon after, like if I do a live class, I would expect you to submit your answers in two, three, four days time. What I don't want is you submitting me all your answers towards the end when we are all busy doing mocks. So if you are up, if you can submit your answers within few days, I will be happy to check. Muhammad Ali, sir, is it possible to pass if we, yes, I answered that. Lisa, please show the self-study page. Uh, Lisa, if you are part of my global group, I will share uh, the self-study page on that group as well. 
Um, sir, can you please show the schedule for each set? Would you be able to include the six weeks planner in the WhatsApp group chat? Yes, Daniel, I will do that on my global WhatsApp group. How can we improve vocabulary or we need to read book? Interesting question, Muhammad Ali. Uh, how can we improve vocabulary? There is no way you can improve your vocabulary in six weeks. Okay, so you understand? You just have six weeks and I don't think that we will be able to visibly improve our vocabulary in six weeks. Because we are full-time students of SBL, we are studying SBL. We will not have, you know, we're not full-time grammar students, right? So let's, um, I have a lot of students whose English is weak. This is a very common problem, right? So that is where uh, in drafting, when we do drafting in live classes, we try to simplify it. We try to draft in very simple words. So I think if you join the practice sessions, you will understand how to manage with limited vocabulary. Not a big deal. Ananya is saying planner, class schedule planner. Um, I don't have it as yet. All I know is that classes are on Saturdays and Sundays. I normally handpick the questions I want to do and I communicate those questions like one day before so that students can revise and participate. Okay, then you. Jay, sir, please can you share the 25 topics notes here? Uh, I can share on the WhatsApp group. Okay, the top 25 ultra summarized notes. I will share on the WhatsApp group. So please make sure that you guys are part of the WhatsApp group. If you are not, please message me right after the class and I will add you. And then I will share. Ali is saying, sir, for me, I'm sure I failed because I left entire one question because I didn't use time management. Did you advise me to enroll with you or self-study? Ali, um, I would definitely advise you that you should join not if not my recent but the crash batch which will start in mid of May because that is something where you will learn time management. So if you don't if you don't need this one, this one is more of more practice, more uh, lectures, videos. If you just want uh, case study practice only, nothing else, then. My revision batch will start in mid of May. You, you should join that. It would really help you. Laksh, I have not yet started preparing for SBL. And this is going to be my first attempt. But I'm familiar with the subject. And I started preparing for September 2021 attempt. But dropped the idea halfway through my preparation. So do you think there's enough time to prepare? Yes, Laksh, I've already answered that enough time in the sense that you have to devote two hours a day only six weeks are left you have to cover up your knowledge if you just focus on the top 25 topics you devote two hours a day you do the required practice and you will be able to do it many students have done it so i'm watching your videos on youtube and reading the notes on whatsapp group not referring to any books is it sufficient Yes, Avnesh, I just mentioned that stay away from book and kids, but what you are not doing is practice. You know, watching my videos and reading notes is not sufficient. You have to practice, okay? Time-based practice is the key word. Can I unmute to communicate? Prince, give me two minutes. Let me go through the comments and then we can. I failed at 38, please tell me what to do. Naveed, very simple. If you failed at 38, it is my assessment that you are technically weak. You have to first focus on your concepts because of time limitations. Start with the top 25 topics. 
the best webinar for topic coverage is is my webinar of september 2021 start with that open up my ultra summarized notes uh, the week watch my september 2021 webinar do these two things and you will be technically fit and then you move towards practice okay Udav is saying, sir, my paper was nullified, but I had completed the entire paper. What uh, is your suggestion? Should I take reset classes? Uh, Udav, is it your, Udav, were you my, um, uh, are you my uh, ex-student or have you ever studied from me? Is this your first attempt? You are my ex-student? Oh, but then you don't uh, probably, uh, how much Udav, how much marks you scored in mocks for March? 45. Then you just directly join my crash course. No need. If you think you're technically okay, then no need. Am I the saying I sat the paper in December and March and my score was 42 and 43. Ouch. Do I need more practice or am I missing the knowledge? Both. I am judging, judging, judging for your marks. I think uh, you need both. There is some knowledge deficiency, some, maybe not all, but surely there is some knowledge deficiency, knowledge gap, and there is a practice gap. So please, Ahmed, for you guys, this reset program is a very, very tailor made program. So I think you must. Uh, explore the possibility of uh, reset. Melissa, would you mind resharing your ultra summarized notes? Or, of course, after uh, this uh, thing, I will share my ultra summarized notes uh, on the WhatsApp group and I will share the six weeks um, planner for self study students on the WhatsApp group. Yes, Prince, you want to ask now? Yeah. yeah. Hi, sir. Good evening, Hi. sir. Hi. Good evening. Uh, I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry to listen to your result. Yeah, sir. Uh, I don't understand where I have, where I have, what is my loophole, sir, basically. And uh, I scored in, in mock 59, sir. And now I scored at, failed at 47. That's uh, a big gap. Normally, yeah. when, when uh, you know, there's not that much gap between mocks marks and actual marks. And in your case, it's a big gap. So, uh, any idea, any idea you have what went wrong? So, maybe, uh, sir, uh, the, maybe the system was problematic, like the mouse and the, the system was lagging. Maybe that's why and we, the system is lagging. The, yeah, the, maybe that's why maybe it was happened. I, I didn't remember, sir, in short. I mean, it's crazy. Sometimes, you know, hardworking or intelligent students, they also get stuck. Maybe you stressed out during the four hours or maybe some technical issue. God knows. So, uh, Prince, for you, uh, all I can suggest is that, you know, just, you know, if you can, if it's possible for you, join the crash course. Yeah, right, sir. Okay. Uh, because uh, whatever has happened, you need to again revise and practice. So that would be a you know best way to handle it. Yes, sir. So, but sir, but I have one doubt, sir. Like I have the I have attempted the previous the eight the eight past papers almost twice or twice, and now again I have to go through that. It is I don't find it effective if I do it again. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of practice questions. The other alternate could be that you do the questions of revision kit, but those questions are not good, my friend. They yeah, right. shatter your confidence. So yes, when we do all these questions, uh, I know that you have done it. I remember it, that you have done it two, two times already. But this time, just focus on the techniques. Like, you yeah. know, I don't know. I mean, yours is a very difficult case, to be honest. Yeah, it's right. a very un, un, unlucky case. So uh, I just hope that, you know, uh, this time you're able to pass because you are hardworking and intelligent. So we'll, we'll see what needs to be done with you when you join the course, the crash course. Yeah. 
uh, also i am planning uh, to re- uh, to take a break for almost in 6 or 8 months so in order to when i start with again sbl so it will be a quite new for me so that i have prepared with mock better or should i have to do okay. or no then you should i am okay take a break for 6 months if if you have some other subjects you can give and then rejoin the uh, the crash course whenever you want yeah yeah okay sir yeah fine sir thank you sir stay in touch okay yes sir okay avnesh is saying in the whatsapp group there are three links sbl material acc books and kids acc my friend uh, uh, and acc fundamental notes can you please advise in which folder avnesh which whatsapp group are you talking about is this my and uh, uh, SPL group which says by Hassan Mustani, I don't have these three links. Just message me privately, and I will add you to my like uh, WhatsApp group. Sir, do I take regular classes for DC? Uh, Naveed, uh, I will get you. मुझे समझ नहीं आया आप क्या कह रहे हैं? Please can you uh, explain? Daniel, when you say revision kit, are you referring to Kaplan BPP? Yes. When I say revision kit, it is either Kaplan or BPP. Both of them are stupid kids. They have just used the prior past paper questions, and they edited or tweaked it a little bit, and they have come up with very confusing answers. Jake is saying, "Please, I am on WhatsApp thirteen SBL. Our uh, thirteen SBL is kind of outdated. We are right now. Jacob is that we." We are right now at twenty fifth SBL group. So please, can you message me, and I will add you to the latest group. Avnesh is twenty five SBL. Okay, so Avnesh, on this group, how can there be three SBL three links? Um, can you connect with me on WhatsApp, and you know, I'll I'll try to understand. When will be the classes for reset? So, reset is already like there is no classes. The live classes is it's it's ongoing. All right. So I have my normal batch. I have my already my normal batch is there, right? It's running, and you guys will join that batch. So the classes are already happening. So the next class is on Saturday and Sunday, and then again Saturday and Sunday, right? And during those uh, those things, uh, during the weekdays, you need to catch up with your revision notes and all these things. Right, so Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, the timing for this month is, I think, two thirty p.m. Pakistan time. Sunday also two thirty p.m. Pakistan time. But as soon as uh, Ramadan is over, we will move to eight pm on Saturday and eight pm on Sunday. If you struggle with time and like timing because of job or something, you can always watch the recording. Okay, uh, Shanti. Right, guys. So. um i'm thinking of something uh let me stop here so you guys have copy pasted this number right this is for the inquiries and to add to whatsapp group this is my own number if you send me a message as well so i will stop the screen now and i will make a small announcement Right, guys. So I just thought uh, uh, an idea just just came to my mind. So, do you guys want to attend the Saturday live class just to see or just to feel how the live class is happening and um, does it add value? Does it help you or not? Yeah. Okay. 
so it is on saturday um 2:30 pm pakistan time if you can't uh, uh no ananya because of ramadan this month is difficult because of the month of ramadan uh people are fasting and then praying so even i myself is not available uh okay so what i'll do is i will i will send the link um to on the 25 sbl group and 24 sbl group okay i will send the link and you guys can just click on the link and join attend enter the live class and then you can decide whether if it helps you then you can enroll for the reset batch yeah do we have access of march crash course for a year or it will expire friends no all access are till the exam so if you enroll in if you have enrolled in march it's finished now if you enroll now you will have access till june or there, if you want to extend there's a small extension fees just get in touch with my coordinator what should we study before joining the class um i will tell you on the whatsapp group uh what you need to do okay discount no worries it will not expire uh, once you attend the live class uh then if you like it then you can you can enroll so i can ask the guy to to you know extend the discount time to next week hi deepa this is very very bad so deepa i think if you score 59 then no need for reset batch you just wait and then join diet and join the crash batch in mid of may okay deepa hi sir so um crash course um i was wondering in a crash book will you be um mock um mocking my uh, like will you will you be able to do mock course and mock oh. for that no no crash will follow three or four questions of practice and then mock okay want to do the mocks first so uh, so i think what i was lacking in my exam because um i actually managed to finish my exam and i was very much positive that i would be at least getting 50 to get the exam done because i found the exam was overall was good but it's such unfortunate to see my marks and um i don't know i i think that i should be okay if i keep taking mocks and uh, i'm did i'm back to my mock yes last time like did yes. you attend the entire crash course yes You did all the questions. Yes. So, I actually attended. Like oh, I, yes. I remember we mark? had asked you all the mocks and everything, and I did all the mocks. What we did, extra mocks we did last time, and I was very disappointed with my results. But I don't know. Yeah. I I don't know what to do right now. I think it's just pure bad luck with you and Prince. Uh, um because whoever has passed my mocks most of them passed the exams as well it's purely i think hard luck with you and prince as well so uh, you suggest that i should take the crash course not the whole yes. research no 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 you guys are you know you guys scored good in mocks so your concepts are uh or are you guys um uh, um No, I think you just directly join the crash. Okay, thank Or, you, sir. Uh, Prince and you, if you want to join the reset batch, maybe you know just message me and I'll figure out something for you. And it's me as well, Ashanti. Thank you, sir. Ashanti. I will I will message you, sir. Yeah, Ashanti. Yes, my dear. <laughs> I'm so stressed. I just can't stop crying. <laughs> What happened? How much? Forty-seven. Forty-seven. Yeah. And in mocks. Fifty-three. Huh? Fifty-three. Fifty-five. Oh God. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Like you know, brilliant students they get stuck. So what do you want now? You want to join the crash? 
So I've messaged you on WhatsApp yesterday. You said you'll con you'll message me back today. So I'll just wait till you finish the class. Okay, okay. Because you know I've got like 300, 200, 300 messages. Oh no. You know, so I'm just trying to catch up, but I'll try and respond to you and Deepika earlier. Thank you so much, sir. All right. So uh, Avlesh is asking, what is the difference between six, the reset batch and the crash? The reset batch is starting now. We have six weeks of live classes, discussions, practice, uh, knowledge videos. Crash is starting just two weeks before the exam. So at that time, we will just have two weeks of time. Obviously, it will be less number of questions, more like, like other things will not be there. There will be a difference in preparation if you start six weeks versus two weeks, right? So the price of crash is $90 and it will be starting just two weeks before the exam. And the price for reset is like $145 it is starting six weeks before the exam. So we have ample time to do extra stuff which will not be included in your crash. Right guys, with this, thank you so much and uh, if, if, if you still have any questions or doubt in your mind, please message me and I will respond. Uh, there's a slight delay in responding, but I will catch up in a day or two. Right? So again, thank you so much and stay in touch.